From the Poor Man's Morning and Evening Portions by Robert Hawker November the 13th Morning Portion Then shalt thou call, and the Lord shall answer, thou shalt cry, and he shall say, Here I am. Isaiah 69 9 Mark the graciousness of thy God, my soul, in the readiness of his answers to thy cries. He hath said, Indeed, in another sweet promise, it shall come to pass, that before my people call, I will answer, and while they are yet speaking, I will hear, Isa. 65. 24. But in addition to this, Jesus here throws in another precious assurance, for when we call, he will not only answer, but to our cry, he will say, Here I am. As if, and which is indeed really the case, the Lord would have his children know, that he is always present with them, nearer to support, than any of their foes can be to hurt. Now, my soul, I charge it upon thee, this evening, that this view, and the recollection of the everlasting presence of thy Lord, be never more from thy thoughts. How full to the same purport is that blessed scripture, as the mountains are round about Jerusalem, so the Lord is round about his people from henceforth even for ever, Psalms 125 2. And if Jesus encircle them in his arms, what power shall break through to wound? If Jesus himself be their shield, what weapon shall penetrate through him to come at them? Lie down, my soul, this night, and for ever, under these blessed impressions. Jesus doth by thee as one whom his mother comforteth. When the timid child is put to bed, the tender parent will sit by her darling until he is gone to sleep. But if the child be fearful that the mother hath left the room, frequently the child sends forth a cry, until by her voice she quiets him again. Jesus doth this, and more, for when new fears arise, and darkness adds to the distress, then shalt thou call, saith he, and the Lord shall answer, thou shalt cry, and he shall say, Here I am. Oh! How blessed is the thought! I am is always I am and always here.